being told to leave. Can you tell me why? A debate over gender identity shut down and silenced the local library now under fire for how they handled this very hot topic. The actions they took now drawing national attention. Thanks for joining us here at 10. I'm Tony Lopez. And I'm Hunter Soward. Tonight, the debate over First Amendment rights is kicking into high gear. CBS 13's Madison Keevy is live in Davis tonight with more on that confrontation and words of warning from a First Amendment expert. Madison. Yeah, Hunter, that conservative group booked a meeting space here at this library in Davis, and that's where they said they were wrongly asked to leave. The library employee that asked them this said it was because they were misgendering trans athletes. And now his reasoning could be a First Amendment violation. I will shut the program down if, it's, if that's what happens. The Yolo County Library's Davis branch turned chaotic on Sunday. I can't finish my story and I'm being kicked out of the room in the meeting in the library here in Davis, correct? What was set to be a forum on trans athletes in women's sports ended within 15 minutes. You need to leave now. The library's regional manager is heard explaining why he shut down the meeting. But is it a First Amendment violation? Based on what I know, it would seem as if it was, because it sounds like they were silenced, basically based on their viewpoint. The first speaker referred to trans athletes by their biological genders. This is where the library employees spoke up to tell the group they'd broken the library's code of behavior. That includes respect. If she, if she does not leave the building, the program is shut down. We're done. We tried to discuss with him that that's a violation of our First Amendment rights and it's completely inappropriate. Shutting down private speakers on government property triggers First Amendment protections. I took this back and forth to a distinguished professor of law at UC Davis. He says it's perfectly fine to expect civility, to lay out rules of conduct, but censoring ideas, that's the issue. If a government entity makes space available to public groups, it cannot discriminate based on viewpoint. Now, this afternoon in reporting this, I not only reached out to the Yolo County Library, their admin offices, but I went there in person as well as called and emailed. They said they would not be providing a comment at this time and did not answer any of my questions. Yeah, they'll be having to answer. Chances are, Madison, does that group have a case if they decide to take this to court? Yeah, that was my question to that UC Davis professor of law, and he says that if the library is found in violation of the First Amendment, that it could very well hold water in court. He said there's some intricacies of this, of course, when it comes to suing. It might not always be for an amount of money. It could very well be for something like an injunction, which would basically tell the library that they can't do something like this again.